The people of Ekiti State, southwestern Nigeria, have spoken loudly regarding who governs them for the next four years. In Saturday's governorship election in the state, the people voted overwhelmingly for the candidate of the All Progressives Congress APC, Diodun Aibayomi Oyebanji, according to the results declared by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. Oyebanji polled 187,057 votes to defeat Shaguni of the Social Democratic Party, who scored 82,211 votes, and B.C. Agbayami of the People's Democratic Party with 67,457 votes. Thirteen other political parties took part in the context. Mikhail, Ekiti people have spoken. What's your impression about Saturday's election? Well, um, there are many things we can say about the election held on Saturday both negative and, and positive. positive. Um, let's start with the positives. I like the tremendous turnout. I'm, I'm very impressed about the turnout. Yes, it's still in tandem with our political culture. Elderly people turning out more than young people. The young people still remain apolitical, still remain um, disinterested. I don't know why. Maybe <laughs> it's because successive leaders in Nigeria have failed the young people to encourage them to come out and exercise their franchise on election. This is extremely difficult. To mobilize young people is so difficult. Mm. Now, we had so many elderly people. At the end of the day, yes, the turnout was impressive. That makes me happy. Okay. The process, thanks to INEX innovations, have been made less cumbersome. In many places, the process went on fine, and in good time, people had um, cast their ballots and those who wanted to wait, waited. those who had other things to do, oh, left for home. It makes me happy that the process went on smoothly like that. Talking about security, security was also impressive. I couldn't have respected anything less because we deployed a good number of security operatives to this election. There's a privilege that off-season elections have is that we can all focus on that election. I next staff focus on, uh, on that election. Uh, the political class generally, the, um, all the parties focusing on that election. So the off-season election gets far more attention than the usual mm. uh, general, general election. Elections. So security, you cannot complain. I next usually face to deploy ballot materials quickly on election day, we see all those things happen. In this case, INEC also did well, moving materials quickly, getting to location in good time. So incidents of ballot snatching and all, all, all that, this election didn't show didn't see all that, that, despite the fact that there were hints of violence during the campaigns. Mm. Generally, you can say this was a peaceful election. However, however, the issue of vote buying was taken to giddy heights mm. <laughs> during this election. The Yaga Africa and other um, stakeholders had warned that given the way the campaigns were conducted in Oshun, that will have their own election next month, and here Nikiti. in Ekiti, politicians were going to induce voters with money. But what we saw in Ekiti were politicians not just inducing voters with money, but also inducing security operatives with money. It's so shameful. No matter the level of innovations that we see on the part of INEC, this idea of 
buying people's votes on election day, buying people's conscience, diminishes us as a country. I, I, I've, I've said it before, I don't know where else this happens. That people have, will be paid, and we are doing it on a, on a, on a, I mean, in a very brazen manner. Look at young girls posted videos on, uh, on uh, Instagram, jubilating with the money they were given. That's why I said giddy heights, the level to which we had not seen before in terms of vote buying we saw here. Because at least people will even mask it. Yeah, they will call people, they will collect pe people's PVCs and then tell them to come into a house. Once they give them uh, 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 money, they will then come out. And then people will line up to, to, to receive money. There was even the case uh, that I, uh, I witnessed where people were snapping their ballot papers. papers in, uh, so that they will have something to show to, take back. to the person who will pay them. Where are we going? I mean, they shouldn't, this kind of thing shouldn't be happening. It's shameful. All right, Dari. Talking about vote trading, are we really going anywhere or is this a sad reality that we have not really opened up to embrace? I, I am particularly pleased with the word you just used, vote trading. I've spent the whole of uh, this morning again that this thing should not be called vote buying. It's vote trading. That it takes two to tango. To tango. We talk about the buyers. About the, I mean, we talk about the, uh, the buyers, sellers. About, about the, the sellers. Buyers. The sellers are even more culpable. <laughs> they lose head or tail. The voters lose when you sell your future. What happened in Ekitis? It's just unfortunate that why we are here to rejoice over the innovations and the gains that we can take away from this election. We were taking hundreds of years back by what happened in terms of. Uh, vote trading. Mm. There is a particular incident where men of the uh, security defense corps co uh, hijacked or seized a bag of money that was brought to a polling unit for the purpose of buying votes. And the people, the people, the voters, the electorate who should support such uh, act descended on the officers. And Nearly, I mean, attacked them and they wanted to. They were, the, 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 the question was, why are you seizing the money? This is money they want to give us. Mm. To, to, to. And the man was even asking them individually, so, ah, so you, you will take this money, they want to buy your vote, that's why we are seizing the money. They said, Who sent you? It will look quite Oh, don't go about that. to to later. And I looked at that uh, daily person and I felt, what awaits us as a nation? The culture. It's getting worse.